Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about the last episode of Hawkeye. And uh, I really enjoy this episode. I do have a couple problems with it here and there. Uh, before we go into it, please make sure you like this video. If you guys end up enjoying it, please make sure to subscribe if you're new. But let's talk about Hawkeye episode six. So like always with this Hawkeye show, I don't do a full recap like I usually do with uh, some of the other TV shows I cover uh, because of so many people. You guys already saw the episode. We don't need to talk about it too much. Uh, some of the things I liked was in the beginning, there's a certain scene where Kate talks about how there's a hero in all of us. Uh, and that's like a similar theme that is carried out throughout this whole entire show. I do enjoy that. I think there are some pretty powerful uh, dialogue here and there with that sort of theme. And it's continuing in this episode, so I do enjoy that. If you guys notice my voice a little bit raspier, uh, I, I may have COVID. I'm not sure yet. I still have to get tested. Um, I was exposed though, so I probably should get tested. Um, but I've had it before. I'm like double vax, so I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so continuing with this episode, uh, I think going after um, Kate's mom, Eleanor Bishop, we already knew that she was involved with Kingpin from the last episode. Um, seeing the tracksuit and Kingpin now go after her, I thought that was a really good dynamic for the show. Uh, that whole like dinner, a dinner scene where they're trying to kill her and Hawkeye's there, Yelena's is there. I thought it was really cool how we see you know the culmination of all these storylines sort of fit together here at the end. One thing uh, I noticed in the beginning is that again, Marvel loves to throw in these jokes, which I, I think some of the jokes are funny for Marvel. Most of the time, I do think they're all funny. Uh, I just don't like when they're like, when they throw too many to where it feels like you're just like overplaying too many jokes. And I did feel that at times with this, with this episode. Uh, I can't think of a particular part, um, but there were, I recall thinking like, all right, there's one too many jokes here. Another thing I liked was uh, the fight at Rockefeller Center in New York City. Uh, like I always say, I live close to New York City. Um, I saw the tree recently. It's just really cool to see that. And uh, this will be a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen the episode, don't you know, don't watch this video. Um, but when the tree falls, I think that's a lot of fun. That whole trick arrows, I love seeing the trick arrows, seeing them in the new suits. It's just a lot of fun, you know. And then throwing in uh, Yelena going after Hawkeye, uh, their fight scene, um, him finally telling Yelena that he didn't actually kill Nat, uh, and seeing that come to fruition, how that all plays out, very well done. Uh, one problem I have um, with this episode is Kingpin. I think he feels very different from how his portrayal was in a Netflix show. It just feels a little bit more uh, stale, not as powerful. Uh, like he seems like he's like holding his punches. Even the fights are not as violent as I want uh, when he fights Kate, and it's like a little bit more. I don't want to say comic booky, but you know, a little bit more like flamboyant his fighting style. But uh, and then his outfits, like when they throw him in that white suit with like the Hawaiian shirt. It just feels very like weird it just i didn't like that the, the outfit in this it made him look a little bit weird i didn't like that um and the fights weren't as well done as i wanted them but then the two big things i want to talk about with the f the finale of this of this show well three things the first one is that kingpin gets shot by echo right the real question is, is he dead uh i don't think so how are you going to bring in vincent what's his name vincent De denario De De Fenario? I, f I forgot his last name uh, he did so well in the Daredevil series and Punisher. Uh, you just brought in Charlie Cox, Matt Murdock as Daredevil in No Way Home. Uh, shit, spoiler for No Way Home. Uh, and then you bring in uh, Vincent for Kingpin, and now you're just going to kill him off. Like, it's just dumb. Like I don't think they would do that. There's just no way that we got to see so much tension and, and great chemistry between Daredevil and uh, Kingpin throughout three seasons, all those years, and you tell me that they're just going to kill him off between this new character just got introduced, Maya, is just going to shoot Kingpin and kill him. There's no way they do that. If they do that, if Kingpin is dead, uh, I'm not going to say I'll riot, but I'll be pretty pissed off. Um, so that was one big thing. The next big thing is we forgot to find out who the watch belonged to, which was um, Hawkeye's wife. And um, so this could play into that she's a former Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., right, who's been out of the business for a while. Uh, there's a comic book character, right, that I think people are talking about, how she could be Mockingjay or Mockingbird. I think it's Mockingbird. Um, we did see that character already in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I watched the first three seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, so maybe, like, she could be the sister of that character and they both have the same name. Maybe they're just rebooting it and she was the former, you know, Mockingjay and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. never happened or they just don't really care about it. Um, but yeah, I think that was pretty cool to see that. Uh, I thought the watch thing would be a little bit more important with the whole story because it was a big focus here and here and there in some parts uh but to see it that belonged to the wife that was a good conclusion and then like the final moment of this show where she's coming up with names and then he's like what about and then shows hawkeye uh i think it's cool i like how they're both gonna be called hawkeye 
it's fine, it's comic accurate. And now uh, <laughs> the big thing is that the after credit scene was so bad. Literally the worst after credit scene for any Marvel thing I've seen. I was just waiting for it to end as it's the Broadway play. It's it's such, it's such a bad idea to include that. Like I can definitely see what their mindset was because I know that they used actual like Broadway musical people, and maybe they were like, "Oh, these people are so good. Let's give them like an after credit scene." And it was just like a big waste of our time. It's it's so dumb, <laughs> it was so bad. But um, yeah. So my little rating for this episode is uh, a three point eight out of five. I thought that was really well done. And then my rating for the series as a whole, I'm gonna give it a three point seven out of five. Uh, I think I liked it more than than most people. I see a lot of people hating on it. Uh, I do agree that the worst of these Marvel series. Uh, I think I like I liked What If a lot too. I've liked all of them. Every single one I've liked because I, I'm not as critical with the Marvel shows as I am with some other things. Uh, I know what Marvel is trying to be with this series. It's trying to be fun. We get to see these cool characters that we've loved for how many years now. We get to introduce some other ones. I think Hawkeye did it beautifully i thought it did a great interesting kate bringing in yelena we got to see kingpin like it was fun it's popcorny it's only six episodes and uh i had a lot of fun with it so i'm giving it 3.7 but i do think it's the worst out of wandavision loki falcon winter soldier i think it's a little bit worse um and then what if too i think it's a little bit worse than what if but i still thought it was great so thought it was fun uh i would probably round it down to like a three and a half stars then like bump it up to a four star rating um but I enjoyed it. I thought it was super fun. But what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy this finale? Did you think it was great? Uh, I think there were a couple episodes better, uh, but maybe only like one or two. I thought it was a solid finale. Really fun. Really great. Just that after credit scene left like a bad taste in my mouth. Um, so I actually bumped it down a rating because of that. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought in the episode on the series. Was it your favorite? Least favorite? Somewhere in the middle? Let me know. Uh, please like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great rest of the day.